Hi, you guys. Happy Sunday to you guys. This is Providence Uphill Sabrina Acapo and wanted to bring you a quick prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit when today and as with any prophetic word. You would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy, telling your story so your name can be glorified for the winning of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, by the name that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. <laughs> you guys, I'm already laughing because I'm so tickled. You will get in the trash to get them keys. You will get in the trash to get them keys, you guys. So you guys, I went to throw out the trash today, you guys. <laughs> I forgot I had the keys in my hand. The keys to the house, the keys to the car, all the keys. Mailbox keys. All the keys. So I threw the trash over in the compactor with the keys. You guys, before I know it, <laughs> I was pulling every bag out of the trash. I was like, I'm determined I'm going to get them keys. If I have to swim through that proverbial water, I'm going to get them keys. If I have to go through the debris, whatever I have to do, if I have to get off in the trash compactor, I'm going to get them keys because them keys are those keys that's going to unlock to your destiny. Those keys are going to be the keys that's going to unlock your door. Those keys are going to be the keys that's going to unlock your car. The keys are going to be the keys that's going to unlock your house. I just know I was determined to get them keys that the Lord has said, begin speaking and auctioning in my spirit. You will get in the trash to get them keys. You will do whatever you have to do. You will go through by all means necessary to get those keys because you know those keys once again are going to be the very thing that's going to unlock your destiny. You will go through the fire just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego Knowing that you're going to come out on the other side, you're going to come out as pure gold. That situation was scary for me, but I was like, I jumped like really quick. Like, no, I got to get, I need them keys. I got to get them keys. I got to have those keys. The Lord is saying for everything that you have had to experience. The Lord is saying for the depression, for the oppression, for the anxiety, for every spell, every assault, every attack, every plot, every ambush, every scheme, every form of manipulation, you got to get them keys. Get in there and get them keys. If you have to swim through those proverbial waters, this is the quarter, get those keys. This is your destiny. This is your life that we're talking about. He gave me Matthew 16 and 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. You know that without keys, what are you going to unlock? So it is determination that you get those keys. You do whatever you have to do to get those keys. I hear the Lord say by any means necessary, get those keys to the deep to your house, to your car. Cross every T and dot every I. But get the keys to your destiny. Get the keys to your next level. Get the keys to that blueprint. Get the keys to that road guide. Get the keys to that road map. No matter what is going on, the Lord is saying, get the D, get the keys. Isaiah 22 and 22, because he showed me the times of 2.22 a.m. and 2.22 p.m. Isaiah 22 and 22 is what the Holy Spirit gave me. I will place on his shoulder the key of the house of David. Whatever he opens, no one can shut. And what he shuts, no one can open. 
the Lord, I wasn't going to even upload today. But look at God. Won't he do it? Like, I'm, oh, you want to upload because I'm going to give you a word today. <laughs> to bring forth what you think you're not going to do. Just like I was like, wait a minute. That's my roadmap right there. I need to get that. I can't even get in my car without those keys. I can't even go anywhere without. I can't go anywhere without my keys. I can't get in the house without my keys. <laughs> you guys. I wish you could have really seen me in action. Faith is an act. Hebrews 11 and 1. And now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things that you cannot see. I was going to swim through those proverbial waters. I told the Lord I will get in that trash compacted by all means necessary to get the keys. I had threw them over in there, you guys, before I knew it. But the Lord always does things with a purpose for a purpose and on purpose. And it was for me to give you this word to keep those keys on lock, to keep a hold of those keys to the deed, to keep a hold of those keys to your car, to keep a hold of those keys to your destiny, to keep a hold of those keys that's going to deliver you out of breadcrumb, to keep a hold of those keys that's going to deliver you out of manipulation, to keep a hold of those keys that's going to deliver you out of ignoring, to keep a, those, keep a hold of those keys that's going to deliver you out of rejection, to keep a hold of those keys. Jesus. Mm. that's going to deliver you out of ghosting to keep a hold of those keys they belong to you the Lord has said I have set before thee an open door no one can shut it it's unblockable it's unstoppable it's unbreakable revelations 3 and 8 I know thy works behold I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and has not denied my name. The Lord is saying, because you have stayed with staying power and told the Lord no matter what, I believe by faith. I activate by your grace and your mercy. I activate by your glory and by your power. I believe that you have given me the keys to the deed. I believe that you have given me the keys to the city. I believe that you have opened up the earth to me for inheritance. That it is seed time and harvest. I believe that it has started. I believe that this is my new beginning. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. That when we are in Christ, we are a new creation of old. Things have passed away. The Lord has said, behold, I'm doing a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. The Lord is saying, I have given you the keys. Utilize those keys. Do whatever you have to do, but those keys are going to bring you out. Those keys are that open door. The Lord is saying, what are you going to do today with those keys? Because I've given you the keys to the city. I've given you the keys to open that treasure. I've given you the keys to manifest those blessings. The Lord has said, I even give you the keys in your mouth to bring that, to birth that baby out of your mouth and open your mouth and give God some praise and open your mouth and manifest the blessings and open your mouth to bring those blessings to fruition. To open your mouth to speak in faith. To open your mouth to make ways. I give you the keys. And I have set you forth. There is an open door. There is open treasure. There is open road, guys. Road maps, instructions, directions, blueprints. Turn left, turn right. I give you the keys to unlock and you will testify and my name will be glorified because the Lord is saying because you have stayed the course because you did not let anything distract you because you did not let anything stop you I'm giving you the keys to unlock I'm breaking every chain and I'm changing things I'm rearranging things this is your shift this is your promotion this is your unlock the Lord is saying open the door to your new destiny. Open the door to your new complete. Open the door to your new transition. Open the door to your new transformation. Open the door, no line, no waiting. You'll do whatever you have to do to get to destiny. The Lord is saying it's a determination. And that is him that has placed that within you. And he has also placed those keys in your hand to open those doors to unlock. Thus saith the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers coming because I'm telling you, they definitely keep me afloat just like Peter walking on that water, knowing that we will never drown, knowing that we have touched down and we have touched surface and that we will do anything to get those keys to get to destiny, promise, and purpose. That I have set before thee in an open door. No one can close it. It cannot be shut. The Lord has said, this is your mom. This is your new. This is your next. You will get in the trash to get them keys. You'll do whatever you have to do to get to destiny. You'll do whatever you have to do to get that seed time and harvest and that inheritance. For the earth to open up to you, for the city to open up to you, to open your door, to open the door to your new house, to open the door to your new car. To open the door to everything that was had gone dormant. Physically, spiritually, financially, and emotionally, mentally, and psychologically, you'll do whatever it takes. Swimming through those proverbial waters, swim through that pervy, per, swim through that debris to get those keys to your destiny. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for tuning into this ministry. Thank you so much for the super thanks. I love you guys. I'm always praying for you guys. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see you guys all through to the greatness of success of God's best on the other side of destiny. Knowing that you have unlocked open treasures, that you have unlocked, I see a safe That you have unlocked to your settlement all around settlements. I hear 1 Peter 5 and 10 that he has restored you, confirmed you, established you, strengthened you with a double strength. That he has settled you because he has given you the keys. That said, the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care. I love you guys. Once again, we will most certainly talk on the next. God bless you. Bye-bye.